I'm Grace Torrey, and you're listening to That Girl, the podcast. Grab a beverage of choice and settle in, because the new episode is starting now. Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Grace Torrey, and I'm back with a whole new podcast episode. In today's podcast episode, we are going to be talking about how to find yourself again, and kind of like ways to know that you've lost yourself to begin with, and kind of that it's time for you to find yourself again, and then ways that you can work on finding yourself. This is a pretty important topic for me because it's something that I've been struggling with and working on, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys and kind of ways that I knew it was time for me to work on this and make it a priority and how I'm doing that in my life. Before I jump in, of course, though, we have to do our life updates. So let's do that. First things first, I do have a sinus infection. So if I sound a little silly goofy, um, it's because I'm casually dying. I literally was up all night last night. I showered at like three in the morning trying to make this go away, whatever is going on here. And it has not. So it's been really fun. It's been really great. It's kind of made me question my existence, but you know, we're here, we're going with the flow, and I'm just kind of along for the ride. Also, Valentine's Day was yesterday. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. I am so thankful for you. The reason I didn't post for Valentine's Day and show my love for you is because I am sick, and also because I didn't have really any valentines y pictures that I could post, and since I'm sick, I wasn't really taking any. So yeah, I just kind of got home from work and was like, wow, I feel absolutely terrible. So Josh and I didn't really have anything planned to begin with. I told you what we were planning in our last episode or my last episode that was all about inexpensive date ideas. We ended up going and getting Panda Express and we watched a movie and I went to bed and I think he cleaned his studio. I don't really know what he did, but I literally just laid in bed and tried to fall asleep until four in the morning and That was great. It was so fun. 10 out of 10. It sucked. Let's be real. So other than sinus infection and Valentine's Day, I've just mainly been working on the Etsy store that I told you guys about. Obviously, I've been working on the podcast too, business as usual there. Um, Been working on the Etsy. I'm also working on getting a Shopify up. So maybe that'll happen. Maybe it won't. I always start the process and then I never go through with it but I like how you can integrate it with Pinterest and all these fun things. So maybe we'll actually go through with it this time, but it's just been fun. I've been getting up like a new collection every single day and just been adding to the products. I need to add to the collections that I have because some of the collections only have like two or three products and others have like five, but I do want to make full collections instead of just adding new collections that don't have that much. I just say collections like a hundred times, but Yeah, that's mainly what's been going on in my world. I hope that your past few weeks, past few days since we last spoke has been good. But the only other life update I have that's not really a life update, it's just a reminder that if you want to join a community of girlies that are working to become best version of ourselves and meet our goals, whatever that goal may be for you, don't forget to subscribe and follow at that girl the pod on Instagram and TikTok. Oh, also, speaking of, if you did just heard that, like, screaming, crying sound, we are dog-sitting my sister's dog, and she is very much attached to attention. And since Josh is currently not here, I'm the only one who can give her said attention, therefore she is very attached to me, so she is sitting outside of my office door. She cannot come in here because my bunnies are in here, and I don't know how well she does around bunnies, So I'm going to try and just like shush her and then maybe restart like the sentence if I need to so that you guys don't hear a bunch of crying. But yeah, she's really cute other than the whole wanting attention 24-7 thing. But like I'm pretty sure people say the exact same thing about me. So I can't really complain too much. It would be hypocritical of me. But yeah, let's jump on in. So the older I've gotten, I've kind of just realized that life is really just a cycle of losing who you are and finding who you are again over and over and over. Each time you find yourself again, I've realized that you also add in these new traits that you found as you continued your journey and really just went down a path of self-discovery. So you're really just refining yourself and maybe adding in, sprinkling in a few traits that you discovered you really have found that 
align with who you are and it's kind of like a new layer of you. So as I've transitioned from graduating back in May of 2022 and going into the real world, getting a career and things like that, I just really feel like I've lost who I am yet again and I've really become detached with myself and who I am, all my values. I just, I really don't feel aligned. So for me, I I really just think it's because I've constantly battled with society's expectations for myself and who they think I should be versus who I think I should be and trying to not lose myself, but also not go against what society thinks I should be, where I actually have lost myself because I've leaned into society a little too much. And I also feel like that I've been working really, really hard to establish myself in my career and in all the other projects I'm working on and just all the things that come with being an adult. And I've just stopped prioritizing being myself and dating myself and continuing to get to know myself and just allowing myself to simply be. So whatever the reason honestly is for why I have lost myself and why you may have lost yourself as well, it's just recently become a priority of mine to find myself again. I feel like I can't keep going like this. I just feel out of sync and I just, I almost like disassociate to the point that I feel like myself that I am right now and myself that I am are two different people. If that makes any sense, like I just don't feel like me, like me is somebody different. So it's time that I find me again, honestly. So if you relate to this, I I mean, I strongly encourage you to keep on listening and listen to how I am trying to find myself again, as well as ways that I knew it was time to find myself again. So in order to understand when you've lost yourself, you have to first become aware that you are no longer in alignment with yourself in the first place, obviously. There's a few ways that I have picked out to sense this. I'm sure that there are more than just a few ways that I have personally picked out, but in the moment that I was honestly writing the outline for this podcast, these are the ones that really stood out to me. So here are the quote-unquote symptoms I've experienced that showed me it was time to come back into alignment with myself. So here are some traits of a person that has detached from themselves. First is you're unsure of yourself and your wants and needs. You no longer act as your own advocate because you're unsure what to advocate for. You don't really know what you want and who you are as a person, so you can't really advocate for those traits or needs because you just don't know. You don't know where to start. You really ask others for advice on everything because you're unsure of yourself and you just don't think that your own opinion on what's best for you is actually it's correct because you don't intuitively know anymore since you're unsure. You stress about your future as you no longer feel that you know what you want it to look like. You kind of lose sight of what your goals are and what that vision of who you want to become is because it just kind of gets blurry. You don't really know anymore and you you kind of question if what you originally wanted is what you still want And since you don't really feel in alignment with yourself, you can't answer that question. You also just overall have a lack of confidence in yourself and your abilities. And you're just very unsure overall. You also no longer prioritize putting yourself on a pedestal. Not like in a bad way. I feel like you can definitely go too far with this. But you don't value self-care and know your worth. You also let people treat you more poorly than you deserve. So... There's a difference between putting yourself on a pedestal and being like, wow, I am so much better than everybody, Uh, lol. And then there's also, okay, I just cringed saying that. I gave myself the ick, did not like that. Um, But there's a difference between doing that and being like, I know my self-worth, I know my value, and I am not going to let anybody treat me any less than what I know I deserve. So you just no longer value self-care because... You don't really recognize your worth and you don't have yourself as a priority anymore. You don't value yourself the same way that you used to. So you don't feel it, you know? You're just not, you're not, you don't get it anymore. You're not on the same wavelength. You also feel like you're not aligned with yourself. Like I said earlier, it's almost like you feel like you and 
your most authentic self are two different people. You don't feel like you are, you almost feel like you're not, like you're, you're not meant to be, I don't know, like you're, you're like a guest in your own body, if that makes any sense. Like who you are is not who you are. I literally cannot explain it. I am awful about this and I have that sick brain fog you know that people get but I don't know it's just like you feel like you're not yourself and you're two different people so those are the few things that ultimately come to mind when I think of knew it was time to become myself again and get back into alignment I was just not in alignment (laughs) and this ultimate brain fog that came with this is what made me be like okay it's time I can't keep going on like this So once you realize you've lost your sense of self, it's time to go back to your roots. And these are the ways that I've done that. The first thing is I am brutally honest with who I think I am and remove things from my life that don't support that. So for example, I sit down and I say, who am I? Do I like this? Do I hate this? Am I on the right path? Does this align with who I originally wanted to become? An example is if certain hobbies that I have, or certain habits that I have, that's a good one. If I have certain habits that don't align with who I want to become, like, this isn't ones that I'm struggling with, but being really messy, having the house dirty, having, you know, going out and eating a lot is something that I do struggle with. Things like that, they don't align with who I want to be. The person that I want to become is very clean, very organized. She lives in a clean house. She cooks every night. She really values baking and cooking and the natural things that come with that. So if that is the person that I am and I know I am down in my core and I used to be before everything kind of got in the way, I am going to go back to those habits and I'm going to go to the grocery store and start, you know, get some groceries. I'm going to clean my house and I'm just going to be brutally honest that I need to kick those habits that don't align with that. I need to kick any hobbies that don't align with who I am. And if I do enjoy it and I do think it's a part of who I've become, I'm not going to necessarily kick it, but if it's a hobby that I don't feel like is who I want want to become and is not who I am at my core, then I will kick that habit or hobby. But you can also do this with people. You can do this with a career if you wanted to make a big change, things like that. Also, it's time to prioritize dating yourself. Ways that you can do this is spend time doing self-care. You can take yourself out to eat alone. Go on typical dates, but by yourself. You can invest in hobbies that you used to enjoy and more. So ways that I've done this is I got back into reading more. I used to love reading. I was such a huge book nerd. I would go through like three books a day. Back in middle school, I would read like those 100 page books and I read like three a day. And I really miss that. I also have always wanted to crochet. So I taught myself how to crochet, things like that. I just, I love being out in nature. So I got back out in nature, trying to go to the barn more because that is something that I have always found brings me back to who I am and is really able to ground me. So things like that. Spend time alone in silence to allow yourself to sort through your thoughts. If you are constantly clouding your thoughts, how do you expect yourself to know who you are properly, sort through thoughts that you have and things like that. So ways that you can do this is journaling, meditating, going on quiet drives. It's honestly just about stopping running from yourself. If you feel like you're constantly running from yourself and who you are, then these are ways to get back to that. You also need to ask yourself what your goals for yourself used to be if they still align with you now and how you can achieve achieve them. So how I did this is I used visualization while also reading through my old journal entries, looking at my old vision boards, and then I reflected on if what I'm doing in my life now is going to get me to the goals I was still trying to find. So an example of this is I eventually want to own a house in the country in the countryside if I think I feel like I said that weird why can I not talk so I looked at my goals for myself and what I'm currently doing and I said am is what I'm doing now getting me to the point where I can afford to build a house in the countryside 
one, am I living in a place where I can do that? Do I live close to the countryside? Am I planning to move to a place where I will be near there? Am I taking the necessary steps? Two, am I building my savings account to reflect this? And I feel like I am. We have talked about buying land in a few years that we can eventually pay off and then build a house on. Three, I want to have certain things in that house. Have, But I can start doing that now. Like, example, at home decor. I can start decorating my house now with that home decor. And then when I do buy that house, I can move that home decor there. And by visualizing what I want that to look like, that is how I could do that. So that is just one example. You can do this with your career. What have you always wanted to be when you grow up? Are you taking the necessary steps to get there? You can do this with a relationship. What kind of relationship do you want? Do you treat yourself like you deserve to be treated? Do you Are you in that relationship now? And if you're not, get out, girly. Like, you have your whole life ahead of you. And if it's not who you want to be, who you want to be with, then life is way too short and the person you're meant to be with is out there. I guarantee. Also, I'm a huge believer that God didn't put a desire on your heart or the universe, whatever you believe in, didn't give you a desire unless you're meant to have it. And so if you have a visualization of this perfect person that you're meant to be with or this perfect career you're meant to have and you just have a huge desire, then I strongly believe it's going to happen. You just have to be patient and allow room in your life for it to come. Also, you I partake in new hobbies that the old me has always been interested in. So for me, I always wanted to learn how to crochet. I kind of learned like a few stitches when I was like nine, but I never really got into it. Now, I'm learning how to crochet and I'm much more advanced with it. I also always wanted to solve a Rubik's Cube for some reason, and I love problem solving. I love challenging things like this. So I went and bought a Rubik's Cube, and my inner child is so happy about this. She is pumped. So that is one thing I've been doing. I've been reading books of the same genre that I once enjoyed. I used to love classic novels like Jane Austen, Emily Bronte, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. The thing about reading is you read it in your head so no one's telling you how to pronounce it. Those old classic novels are the ones that I'm most interested in. So I bought some of those and I've really been reading them. I've also been aligning more with a cottagecore lifestyle because when I was a little before, way before cottagecore even came out as I trend, I always pictured myself living this lifestyle, but I didn't have a word for it. And now that I do, I really know that that is who I am at my core and that is the lifestyle I want to partake in. So that is what I have been doing. Also, I've been blocking out the noise. So what do I mean by that? I am learning to understand that Knowing who I am and being in touch with myself is a priority and deserves my attention. I didn't prioritize who I am or self-care because I kind of just thought it would fall into place. But if you don't prioritize it, it's not going to, especially as you get more busy. So I think that for me, understanding that if I need to schedule time to make sure that I do this, then I need to schedule time. It's okay and it's a valid reason to say no to other things. I schedule time to shower, to clean my house, to have a self-care night, and I do have to say no to some things. Sometimes friends will say, hey, let's hang out, and I'll say, you know, on this night, I do this, and it's really important to me, but can we reschedule this because you're also important to me? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. So just understanding the importance of it and willing to schedule other things around it. The last thing that I have on here, like I said, I'm sure I have more things that I'm doing, but these are just the main ones that come to mind, is I'm slowing down. Life just makes way more sense when you take the time to process it and enjoy the little things that come with it. So slowing down, living a little bit more of a slow living lifestyle. If you don't know who you are or what you want to become, then what is the rush? What are you rushing to? Because you're rushing to an unknown destination, honestly. So when you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is slow down and take things as they come. So I know this episode is way shorter than I wanted it to be, but with me being sick and my brain being foggy, I don't want to push this episode on and 
kind of force it to be longer than it needs to be simply because I want to hit a certain number. I'm just going to tell you guys the information I have, my opinion on it, and how I'm feeling. And for me, that is enough. So let me know if this helped you, what you are doing to become more aligned with yourself, and helpful tips you have that I may have missed. Don't forget to follow me on at that girl the pod on Instagram and TikTok. If you don't mind sharing on your Instagram story, I will repost it. I love you guys so, so much. I want all of your friends to join our community as well so that we can all be happy girlies that are working towards our goals. Also, if you don't mind leaving a rating and a review, if you're on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, it helps out my channel. Not my channel. Dang, I say that every single episode. It helps out my podcast so, so, so much. And it means the absolute world. If you want to just tap those stars, that would be awesome. If you want to leave a whole review, that would be also amazing. And I would appreciate it more than you know. Don't forget to subscribe and follow depending on what platform you're on, whatever that terminology is, subscribe, follow, collect, all the things. If you want to check out any of my clothing, mugs, notebooks, bucket hats, any of the things that I have on my store currently, you can check out my Etsy using the link down below. I love you guys so, so much. If you're watching this on a Wednesday night, I hope you have a great night. If you're watching this on a Sunday night, or no, not on a Sunday night, on any other day i hope you have a great morning afternoon or night i'm gonna go clean my room up a little bit shower get this edited get it uploaded it uploaded (laughs) and then i am going to go to bed because i honestly need to but i love you so so much and i will see you in my next episode all right bye guys